What's going on guys? So I just finished up a dining room table build. I used a new finish that I've never used before. And it is hands down my new favorite finish. Mainly because of how easy it is to apply and just the sheen it gives. It is a beautiful hand rub finish. I just got done putting a coat on this and that's another good part, you only need one coat. It's called Rubio Mono Coat. It's actually a hardwood floor finish but it's becoming pretty popular with furniture as well. Like I said, I just put a coat on this. This is reclaimed oak barn wood. It just turned out absolutely phenomenal. So when I did that dining room table build, I did the, uh, the squeegee method. And this actually came with the kit. And how I did it on the dining room table was I poured it into a cup, you know, spread it out, and then you use this and just go back and forth. And that table had a metal base, so I didn't have to worry about legs, finishing the legs on it. But for this application, this is a giant six foot long barnwood sofa table. I've got the base behind me and I still gotta put a coat on that. That's what I'm gonna do today. I used this little buffing pad. I got like a whole six pack, five pack of them and I just cut them into little squares because you only need a really tiny little square to do it. So I got these on Amazon. I'll link it below as well as this finish if you wanna check it out. And I literally just Pour it on here and basically you just buff it in with this. And uh, another good option would be buffing pad technique. I've got the cup of it right here. I can dip it in and buff it in on the legs, which would be extremely difficult to use this on it. And another really, really good part about this is the can is extremely small, but a little bit really does go a long way. All right, so I'm gonna be a little bit short. So let me show you how I go about mixing this up. So I've just got a really small syringe here. This is a three to one mix. So to make this easy, I'm gonna use this part and just do three full syringes of this. I get these syringes right on Amazon. I'll link that below too. So one, two, three. That should be enough of what I need. And then just one of the this. And there you go. For a tabletop, you would probably have to do more than that, but for what I got left on this table base, this should be enough. And then you just take a popsicle stick. I do. Just give it a good mix. There you go. And then I can finish the table base. How I'm gonna do it is just dip a little bit on the pad and then just kind of buff it in. So what I'm gonna wanna do is just buff it in, let it sit for a little while, and then just basically wipe as much of it as you can off. And another good thing about using these cloths is it doesn't absorb much of it. And if it does a little bit, it's easy to wring out. If you use like an old t-shirt or a terry cloth, it absorbs it all, and this stuff's expensive. You don't really want it to want it to absorb. Okay, so I just got done applying the Rubio Mono Coat to the table base, and immediately after that, I remember where I started doing that. Go to that leg, which I started right here, and just start wiping it down, and then go in the same pattern that you applied it. You don't want it to sit on here too long. Take a terry cloth, and just wipe it all down, very good. Basically try to wipe it all off. You're never going to, because a lot of it's into the wood, but you don't want it sitting on the surface from what I understand. Otherwise it gums up pretty good. Then after I have the bulk of it wiped off with that terry towel, I just take a clean, blue shop towel and just give it one last wipe down because even though you get the most of it with the terry towel there's still going to be a little bit on there another one of my favorite parts of this finish is that as this is sitting here drying being in a really small garage shop i don't have to move this anywhere i can go over and start working on something else and the dust from working on that isn't gonna hurt this finish. I just wipe it off before I deliver it to the customer. 
my absolute new favorite wood finish. As you can see, it's just absolutely beautiful. The dining room table I did was black walnut and it looked beautiful on that. This is reclaimed oak barn wood and it's just absolutely fantastic on this. Uh, not too shiny, not too matte. It's like the perfect hand rub finish. And it's super easy to do, super easy to apply. You pretty much can't mess it up unless you don't wipe enough off from what I understand. So make sure you wipe it down good after you apply it. And probably what I will be using from now on. But there you have it guys, just a quick video on my new favorite woodworking finish. Subscribe for more, have a good day.